when we flew out of Mobile, they do these flights regularly, and they t- they perform a different grid each time. And so when we flew out of Mobile, we flew towards the Chandelier Islands, which is the area they were searching this time. And as we got towards the Chandelier Islands is when we saw more and more streaking and tar balls and whatnot. So it's clear that when you get towards the Louisiana Cliff Coast, you still see the largest impact of oil in that area. And you can also see it uh, towards the Mississippi Gulf Coast as well. Uh, yeah, the goal of these surveys is to um, basically get a, a snapshot of the population level distribution and abundance of, uh, of basically bottlenose dolphins and sea turtles on the continental shelf between Atchafalaya Bay and Pensacola, uh, one of the areas or the areas impacted by the, uh, the oil spill. But we did see four or five groups of bottlenose dolphins and, and three or four uh, sea turtles, including Kemp's Ridley and loggerhead sea turtles. So it was, it was a pretty typical day, although, again, the conditions could have been better.